Hi, my name is Ron Shapiro. I'm Professor of Surgery, Robert J. Corey Chair in Transplantation Surgery, and Director of Kidney, Pancreas, and Islet Transplantation at the Thomas E. Starzl Transplantation Institute at the University of Pittsburgh. Today, I want to talk about a very interesting study from Spain looking at cardiac transplant recipients who were clinically stable and who were converted uh, from cyclosporin to everolimus. Uh, in an attempt to see if they could improve uh, renal dysfunction. Uh, 56 patients were converted, uh, 45 completed the follow-up, and 32 of the 45, or about 70 percent, had substantial improvement in their renal function. Uh, the patients who uh, did not have improvement in their renal function uh, tended to be uh, cigarette smokers or diabetic. This is an interesting observation. Uh, renal dysfunction uh, leading to end-stage renal disease is a, an important problem in non-renal transplantation. Locally, 7% of the kidney transplants we perform at the University of Pittsburgh are in patients who have had previous heart, lung, liver, or, multi or multivisceral transplantation. Thus, the notion that it is possible to convert stable cardiac transplant patients uh, from a calcineurin inhibitor to um, uh, a TOR inhibitor uh, without risking cardiac rejection but with improvement of renal function is, I believe, an important observation and uh, one that can be very important uh, for patients, especially with renal dysfunction uh, after uh, non-renal transplantation. Thank you.